Oh, oh, they bringing out the great guns. Yeah, I see. Anti mage is banned. Oh no. <laughs> Does I mean I don't think Ravens had a lot of damage to do up Medusa mid game. Uh, Death Prophet early on is okay. I mean it's able to solo Five kill Medusa, but remaining. as soon as Medusa is ready to fight, I don't think Ravens have, have enough damage to do with her. Yeah. All right, but uh, they, how they about if they so pick they pick Ursa, like uh, Ursa yeah. yeah. Diffuso, which is pretty good against Medusa. You can play you know a fast game. Yeah. Yeah. The only problem is the laning phase. Titan Hunter Miran is not an easy lane to play. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're talking about Titan Hunter. Yeah, Sherlock, Sherlock, yeah. Sherlock said. About, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, there's three heroes, actually. Is Lark is not bad against, Mira, against Medusa, too. Uh, yeah. It's been Nature's yeah, Prophet? Not... Dude, they must ban Ultimate right. Major, right? There's Anti Mage, that... Lark, Ursa. But if you are Anti Mage, are you not afraid of Titan Hunter and Mirana? Not a hard... Isn't it a hard lane early on? Really hard yeah. lane? Ten seconds remaining. Uh, it is. Mm, I don't. It, it depends, actually. How, how aggressive can you play? Uh, Tide Hunter yeah. is just like um, you know, a potato without mana. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I don't know if Crystal levels. Maiden brings a, a good enough lane to anti mage. Yeah, hard to know. Huh. Uh, my problem with Ursa, both Ursa and Slarkids, they can suffer early on against Mirror and Tidy Hunter, but you have Crystal Maiden, mm -hmm. so maybe you can deal with it. All right. Now, Infamous they have only one, one of those. They yeah. have three heroes to pick. They have Anti-Mage, they have Zark, and they have Ursa. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure one of those is going to be banned right now, Zark. So now they have two heroes. Uh, I forgot about that. Ursa and, and Anti-Mage, <laughs> right? Uh, Ursa and yeah. Anti-Mage, yeah. Let's see what you're gonna pick. Yeah, I don't uh, see any okay. other option. You have no terrible. Maybe Marfling. Is Marfling bad here? Marfling. Uh, I don't like Marfling here, I think. I don't think it's a bad Marfling game. I mean, it's not the greatest against Medusa, but Marf X is pretty strong, I think, against it. And Marfling is good against Amber. I think it's so maybe it's okay. Yeah. And I think it's okay against Tide Hunter and Mirana. I think it makes sense. It, it's a dead hero too, right? Ravens picked uh, Morphling for for dead like eight, since ages yeah. ago, since the start of this team. So maybe on a relegation match, you just want to go to your comfort zone. It makes sense to go with Morphling. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I can see it working. Five yeah, seconds I, I like I the eggs down. idea you, you brought yeah, to the yeah. table. It's a really yeah, good eggs against the agility Dude, real heroes. I, I, I think game is over. If they just pick Ancient Operation, game is over. Not I kidding. Mean, Ancient Operation yeah, against can. Death Prophet, against Morphling. Game is just over. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And it's still, and even they, though I call that Morphling pick, I don't think Ravens has enough damage. And they have a setup for Ancient Operation, right? They have Ravage, they have Chain, yeah. they have Arrows. Uh, I think just you don't even game have to move operation. anything. You just pick, nope. pick it five and Tide Hunter goes offlane, and that's it. I think just it's a good AA game, game. yeah. Yep. I like that. But it's infamous. They are gonna pick Jakiro. <laughs> no, please no, please no. They love that Jakiro last pick. They love it. The, uh, I, I can maybe actually, pick a lion too. Maybe. Uh, I think it's one hundred percent age operation. Like uh, it's just a free I, game. I think that's the pick as well, but it's infamous. It's a free game, French operation. What? What's happening? Uh, would you rather? And what about putting that Tidal Hunter as position 5 and getting another offlane? Is there any hero that... Dude, oh, Ogre oh Legion? What? Ogre. Ooh. What? <laughs> this yeah. this hero is just... Here comes the Ogre. Garbage. I mean, it, I don't it pairs know. well. Yeah, it pairs well with Medusa. Maybe there's a lot yeah, of the, it is not play. bad, but... Yeah, mm. I, I do agree with you, yeah. but yeah, I mean... It, Again, it's infamous. They they like those. Maybe, so maybe they were scared because right. Ravens has Tiny, Ricky. Maybe they were scared of the Ancient Apparition. But I don't know, man. I don't like but the Ogre. It, I think there were better gonna, options uh, too. It's going to die anyways. I'm okay with the Ogre. <laughs> okay with the ogre. I mean, I, this game I'm going with, with infamous. I don't think Ravens has a lot of, uh, has a lot of damage. 
I, I think they like damage, even though they have that prophet, they have tiny. It's just just go in, you get a hero, and where, where's the follow up? As soon as Medusa is ready to fight, I don't see Ravens fighting back. Yeah, I'm with you, Pepe. I, I I don't think the Morphling is enough of an answer to to do so. I like it, yeah, but I don't. I'm not feeling it. All right, about I'm you, gonna Sherlock? curse. I'm gonna curse because like uh, the team fights of Infamous is just amazing, as Pepe said. Uh, I think oh, if you go with get, like, Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, if you do, I get like two items. Like, no, no, uh, come on, it's, Pepe. It's, it's, it's Kadi and Manta. Game is just over. Yeah. I'm going with Infamous. Right. You cannot change Gipap. So, let's see who wins and let's Person. see who gets relegated right now. It's Math and Automo. Take it away, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Lil. And uh, yeah, I guess we're we're looking at a Deuce game. I'm very happy to see the mm. hero get picked. I also am happy to root against the hero because it's one of my favorite ones. I need to get up. <laughs> so I kind of need Infamous to take the bullet here. Go down to Div 2, all right? Just lose so the hero gets buffed, all right? That's all I need from them. It's always fun when your most spammed hero gets picked in a pro match, when it's like rarely picked, because you're like, I want to see how the pros build it, but I don't want them to win with it, because if they win with it, then Ice Frog will take notice. Uh, this is actually, I think, the first game of Medusa has been picked in the South American DPC. Uh, she has been banned before, and looks like this mark oh is gonna, he's, he's gonna be banned from life. Very, oh. Oh, he makes a double <laughs> jump, by the way. Yeah, very, very quick uh, from him. And uh, unfortunately, yeah, uh, looks like a little bit of a word battle as well. Still no first blood on the board. Uh, and yeah, looking at this draft, uh, Ricky and Death Prophet getting through. I, I do kind of like that. I think a lot of our analysts here were really wanting that AA pick. All right? they, they were all on board. Uh, for the AA5. I will say that as we look at this lineup in hindsight, I got myself a Dusa, I got myself a Marana, yes. and honestly, I also have like this Ember Spirit that's also kind of like backline pokey. I don't have anyone to sit in front, so uh, I'm kind of about this. I, I could have maybe also gone on board with like an Undying or something, but I do like them adding mm. a stun into the mix uh, with their lineup and also putting something that doesn't die as soon as it gets Avalanche tossed. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely see the points with the uh, Ogre, but I, I agree with the panel that I think A would have been better because it's A versus Morphling. Like, it's like, it's such a counter, you know? It's, it's you, you know, you just press R on, you send the snowball, then you send it again, the ice blast again, and then that's it, Morphling dies. I, I've seen games when A gets like five, six pickoffs on the Morphling and just wins it. But as Gubebe said, Morphling, sorry, A makes complete sex makes complete sense so they're gonna pick something else it's infamous you know they they see the perfect pick so they go let's not take it let's take something else mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's weird right like uh the morphling we can definitely see a little bit of the pop-off scenario there's like this uh both heroes kind of counting each other right like do so with mantis scotty mm -hmm. is gonna feel fantastic in this game scotty to <laughs> take the heal away from the morphling and the death prophet you also have the kite with the tiny and maybe even the ricky getting close so like it really feels good there but also the agon scepter right stealing the stats of the medusa so that that's also something that can kind of work in favor of ravens uh, it, maybe, I don't know, I'm gonna have to see how this laning stage goes, though, because I know that the Dusa has been kind of okay in, in lane, not, like, fantastic. Uh, still going to jungle a little bit earlier, but the Death Prophet has been something that, you know, you are picking because the laning stage is really nice, and, you know, Ravens also play a really good laning stage, so we'll see how far backed up this Dusa is uh, once we get to, like, the 8, 9 minute mark. Uh, one thing I do like about the Ravens Draft is it does feel a little bit faster. With one, you have the Exo for tower damage. You have a Tiny who's really good against tower. They have great burst damage as well. <laughs> once Tiny's online with the blink, and Benji has oops, he's taking hits, and he might. Oh, is he gonna take another hit? MJZ, oh. baby! My ogre wants that kill, and under the tower, no cares. My goodness. Instant gloves of haste to try to buy this queued up. You know, you ever did that when you're in position five? And you, you get the first blood, and you, just, and you see straight away queued up on the He's like, yep, that's the one. That's what I needed. Uh, he's like, don't worry, guys. I'll be getting the 17-minute hand to buy this, this one for the first blood. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, the, and Ogre's base damage was. It's, it's insane. Now, 74. It's, mm -hmm. it's, pretty, it's just pretty massive. He got a nice buff of 20 damage. So goes up, smacks the Death Prophet in the back and sends her to the grave. And uh, yeah, Benja is not the star that you need in this situation. No, and Benjaz uh, a little bit kind of 
hurting because had to start with that uh the q first usually as, as a death prophet you don't have to do that but because dismar he was already pulling the lane right they were already going for the drag so it was only death prophet didn't want to lose the range creep unfortunately lost her life on the death prophet so uh very very good start for the infamous crew and we'll see how this laning stage goes as a whole we saw last time they took the laning victory and they kind of snowballed it from there uh so first blood on the death prophet will definitely help out to that same cause uh, top lane is i feel like it's ben jazz is, it's gonna be all on him to sort of do well in the lane because ricky is not a laning phase hero you know the hero's got a little bit of a slows and a silence and that's nice and he's elusive but he doesn't have much health he doesn't have good arm but he Early game damage is mostly magic damage, which is really bad for the Ricky, and you just don't do that much. So all of it's going to be on Ben Jazz, and Ricky won't be able to do too much. Hopefully, you know, Ravens really needs him to have a decent laning phase, or at least not suffer too much. Right now, he's a tiny bit behind CS, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad for him. For this you know, top you know, lane really specifically, do you... Uh, I was gonna ask for this top lane. I see that like you have this Titan Hunter Morphling. Both of them are pretty used to like soloing lanes by themselves, but not necessarily being like super aggressive. The Crystal Maiden still staying up here. Do we do we see like maybe both supports just leaving entirely and letting these two just like farm up here? Or do, do you maybe want to see a more aggressive move from either side? Uh, oh, this Mar is gonna get. I, I like what the, what we're seeing Sladeen do. He's just he's got eight CS. This Mar is he gonna lose his life again? Yeah, yeah that's does, that's that's the Ricky that I know from the Lady phase. You know, until the, <laughs> until about fifteen minutes, you're really not a hero. Once you have sleeping, uh, all right, nah. first you gotta get, get level six, then you annoy people by forcing them to spam sentries, but then and then you annoy them again by forcing them to get. Uh, but when you have the sleepy but but yeah, I like what what uh, we're seeing Slady do. He goes around. He's got eight. He's got nine CS. All these are big creeps, by the way. He just goes and arrows them. Gets a decent amount of gold. There's only 500 gold behind Oscar, so he's farming up and he's making stacks. And the same team at the same time, it's like you said, uh, Ray Ray Lai, as Sherlock calls her. She's also just trying to focus on pulling and getting some something going for the Medusa. So, yeah, cores are hard to kill. Supports decide to, to just work on the economy game. Uh, maybe they should be one of the ones that might have queued up. Yeah, you know, Ogre Magic can't be the only one. Uh, uh, actually, it doesn't. Have, unfortunately, it doesn't have it queued up just yet, but soon, I uh, believe. You know? Soon, uh, we're still you know, waiting for it. All right. Yeah. You know, I love when we oh, Oscar. He's taking a few. Minutes. I love when we go like something like 15 minutes, and you see that Ogre picks up Midas like 48 minutes into the match. I'm like, dude, you can pick it up much sooner. <laughs> you, you, you would have been far. You would have more been more far than any other core in the game, but yeah, we'll see. It happens in more ogre games than you think. I mean, the hero doesn't get picked like super often, but I do feel like I've seen a lot of games where you get to the 55 minute mark and it's just like, I want to get levels, man. Like, I don't really care about the goal yeah. anymore. I just want to have my levels back. Uh, so you do see a lot picked up like super late. Oh, looks like mid lane slot is maybe in a bit of danger. Pippi, though, already used the Avatars, but a nice frostbite. Kara is going to get that kill, and well, even the toss up, not enough to stop the Marana. Now, Marana into the Crystal Maiden, already used a few of her spells on the CM as well. It's a lot of hurts. It's a lot of right click damage, so maybe you got to back out a bit there. You're still happy though if, if you're the tiny PP. He did the uh, the kill first. He's very close to level six. Where Slam's gonna be a little bit longer though. He's about four, three quarters of the way there. So, uh, yeah, you're in the Ravens. You're gonna be walking away a bit happy from that, especially when when Sla when, uh, when PP is lowest in terms of, of CS and uh, as the tiny. Overall, the game fairly passive. This is a relegation game. You know, it's a best of one relegation at this point. These two teams are one one each. If you there's zero and five in the in the tournament, so if you lose there, you're gonna go zero and six. No way to come back from that. If you win, you still have to hope Alliance, who's currently staying at two and three, has to go two and five, and you have to go two and five. So winning does not guarantee you a spot in Division One, but it gives you the chance, which is sometimes all we can ask for. Absolutely, and yeah. Um, if there's any game that we assume it's gonna go, maybe 50, 60 minutes. It is Oof. the elimination game three. Always going to be the one. And yeah, this mark goes down elsewhere. The Deuce is getting a bit hurt. And you can see already going for uh, just a stick into the uh, into the Dragon Lance. So going to be trying to farm up probably heavily on the Deuce. And topside, a bit of danger on the Crystal Maiden here. Trying to get back into the trees. One more hit. Sonic will dive forward for it, but can't actually get the right clicks. 
So Whoa. that'll uh, unfortunately not let them a kill. Will let them a courier kill? Maybe, maybe, you can. <laughs> maybe you're happy with that. Still worth it. That's like 200 gold for your whole team in total. So it's almost as good as a bounty. But yeah, he used all three pounds. I thought he was going to get the kill for sure. But jumps in. He kind of panics a little bit. And he's like, all right, no need to risk my life. In the meantime, though, Morphling as well as Oscar, have bo sorry, Dan as well as Oscar have both been farming up a storm. Yeah. Both top of the CS charts right now. And Oscar, we saw last game, when he has a good game on this Tidehunter, he won't die. You know, he went like, what, like 6-0 and zero in the previous game. And in this game, I think he can do that again. You know, oh. very hard for them to bring him down. Yeah, no, I, I really like their opener of the Ember and the uh, Tidehunter, because it's kind of like, where, where are we putting these heroes? Is it going to be another, you know, carry on the Ember? You know, it, it, surely it's going to be an offlane. Uh, tied again, but it seemed to really work really well for them. So I, I liked how they opened it up, uh, kind of ambiguous again. And oh man, oh, stun into the arrow. So you can see a little bit of the combo what they were going for on Ravens, but unfortunately the, the damage just isn't there just yet. So MJZ still falls here, Avatos and slot in. No more leaps. Will get caught up in the trees and Pippi able to find himself a double kill on the tiny. And well, that's uh, you know good few kills there for the tiny we said maybe it was a little bit hurting on the net worth and oh even the haze rune found out so pepe picking it up popping uh not just yet it looks like so we'll just hold on to that haze for a while this is my great turnaround by the way the infused raindrop this is why why this item is so insanely good i think it saved him twice in that uh, fight definitely against the starfall so uh yeah you know you have low low health and you know that you're taking a lot of magic damage so you take infused raindrops and you are able to survive so this Mar, as we inch six minutes closer to the 50 minute mark, when, at which point he actually becomes a hero. So all he has to do is hold on until then, and he'll have the shard. Ronaldo, Oscar, what's he gonna go for? He's gonna go for just for the classic mech build that we've seen on the Tide Hunter. Just wants to be as tanky and durable as possible. And once. I wonder if they're gonna stick with the. You know, are we gonna see if they're gonna stick around, play around Tide Hunter, or Ravens will play around the Exorcism? Both teams just. Fairly passive at this point. Actually, this isn't popped at the bottom lane here. And might be just to be able to get the tower. Yeah, Deuce is already well out. Has the Prime Mass, so happy to just jungle it up. And everybody just him down. This is a really hard tower to defend here. And even with the Ember Spirit, this isn't free at all. They will get the dive away. Dismar not exactly showing himself yet on Ember. Remnanting in, they'll find the kill. And now with a haste rune pop, they get the Tiny to back out. They get the... Uh, XO Death Prophet to back out, so you still have a bot tier one tower, which is very powerful for the Deuce, right? As long as you can stay here, keep kind of cashing those waves, keep getting those two camps right in front of you. Very happy, but oh, okay. Instead, TPing up top, so we'll just continue uh, to farm up on the other side of the map wall. I mean, you can imagine that Raven's gonna try to make another attempt at that tower. Yeah, especially because the tower's only sitting at like 100 health anyway, but Pepe is yeah. gonna be run down here. Double damage empowers me. It's like, no, it's like, nah, I just would go oh. for these one. But Kara, on the other hand, yeah, Oscar yeah. is like, am Probably? I willing oh, to no. use a wow. average? No. Oh! That's range. That's a lot of damage. And well, I have a toss on MJZ as well. Tree throw won't actually collect on it, but uh, still very happy with their mid defense right now, it seems. Since, oh, no, Sodom's. Going back in, thought he may just be leaving for good, but instead Oscar running in, does use the Ravage Hammer with the DD on Slonims. They'll find themselves another kill. They know that the Exo is not up right now, so Benjaz, gonna do what you can to try to move everybody off this mid tower, but without the Exo, you just aren't as threatening anymore. Mm. Yeah, he shows up and people are like, well, what are you really going to do to us? And one of the things that the <laughs> panel talked about was sort of the lockdown coming out from Ravens. Uh, they were like, oh, you know, you have the Frostbite from Crystal Maiden. And you can see once once Tiny is down, it doesn't feel like it's a lot. You got a bunch of silences, which is nice, but they don't slow. And you only have the Crystal Maiden who, you know, Frostbite. Walking in with a Crystal Maiden to use Frostbite on Ember Spirit is one of the worst feelings. You know, you're like, all right, maybe I'll get him. And then he, you walk in and he slices a fist at a random person. And you get hit in the, and get hit in the crossfire. So then it's like, oh, you know, I'm there. And he may, manages to make it out. So... It is very hard for them to lock down this Ember Spirit. I Absolutely. guess something that Raven might be struggling with every time Tiny is dead. Even if he's alive, I don't think it's going to be easy. No, and honestly, maybe the Morphling uh, idea is you got to turn into the Ogre Magi. Get yourself another stun. <laughs> That's the move. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, imagine that. No, well, you said it's the Ember Spirit and you get two of them with the Siri Chase. And... I oh, that yeah. Ah, uh, interesting one. They're so, gonna keep so on they going. Find Medusa and all the stacks. That is gonna be absolutely awful for the Medusa. Trying to turn this one back around, but there's no mana left, so you already feel a little unsafe. But oh, Radiant. They're gonna make another move in with Infamous here. They've locked up the tiny, but here comes Benjaz. Exo in the silence. You're gonna watch an Ogre Magi disappear. And only one it looks like, but they can go right up. They know their stacks up here. Even if you don't get any more kills, just taking these ancients feel like enough right now for the, the Death Prophet. Yeah, they can make for it. You can see that Infamous and say that they do not want to kill, but they don't have a Ravage. And Oscar's walking in here, but this is, uh, he's very oh, tanky, so they, they might have to top bring him down. Deuce is back to full mana now, so not exactly useless anymore. And could find themselves another kill here with a nice root. Another snake burning through. Big damage, honestly, for the Deuce of just poking. One remnant will find themselves the kill. And now Dismar got to be a bit careful. Slot in, still going to line up that arrow. Adaptive Strike will keep everybody away for now. It looks like, oh, Sodden won't be able to connect on anyone else. Oh, no, except for the Death Prophet. They locked her up with the chains, and, well, they didn't get the benefit of the Ancient Stack, but they do get themselves a Death Prophet and a Crystal Maiden. So, maybe not all so bad for Team Infamous. Yeah, they delayed the Medusa a little bit. They also block the the camp as they the ancient camp as they leave with a nice sentry ward. But at the same time, they do give away the Ben Jazz here. So it feels relatively even. If Inverse is gonna get the, this mid tier, well, they're gonna be happy though. Yeah, definitely. But it, it's not gonna be for free, right? I mean, you still have Dismar. It's kind of waiting around to see if anything can happen. But as you said, still waiting on that shard another two minutes. So a little less impact from the Ricky right now. Well, the tower wasn't free, but it was like 90% discount, so almost <laughs> free in that situation. Because uh, Ravens was not almost. interested in defending it and losing that tier 1. So, starting to... They still have the outpost, they still have the, the tier 1 top, they want or to defend Roshan, but... You can't afford to lose too much map control this early in the game. Especially when you're the one with the Death Prophet. Hmm. Yeah, the death. Uh, the death prophet is just another one of those like, I buy greaves, I run at your tower. You have heart trouble killing me. Uh, it's it's definitely nice to see that hero come back into the meta. But you know, Slotin doing his best to kind of like itemize for right. You've got this vessel coming. The only problem is this item that the death prophet already wants to build, right? Greaves, it's like directly also counters the vessel because you can just purge it off immediately. Uh, there's not a whole lot else that you really want to purge off, right? Like maybe chains or. Ignite, Change, you know, ignite, like, yeah. yeah. Not much, it's not much to remove for sure. By the way, this Mar is level 6 and 40 minutes. He still needs about 600 gold for the shard, so it's not gonna be that instant shard unless he gets a couple of kills in the next minute or so, which uh, is pretty bad. You are always playing for that 15 minute timing. Well, here we go, maybe we, these are the kills that we need. Oh my goodness, MJZ, turn around, big boy. That Ogre Magi is not That's an not easy kill. kill. That is not the kill this one was looking for, you know? Mm-mm. And, uh, yeah, this uh, this shard on Ricky gonna be very delayed at this point. Oh, and MJC, maybe it's finally time for the Ogre Magi to fall. Benjaz, though, I mean, that's four points of the Siphon. Three in the Crypt Swarm, they will get themselves the Ogre Magi kill, finally. And, unfortunately, yeah, the Ricky, uh, not even around to benefit from it. And the uh, Guardian Greaves is, is, is almost finished on Benjaz as well. Should be flying out to him any second now. So that'll help a lot and make does make the Death Prop very hard to bur burst down. Infamous, their draft has a lot of things going for it, but burst damage is not one of them. You know, like what exactly jumps in it does a ton of damage. So if you're Death Prop, you should be able to get those Spirit Siphons off, whether it's on the Hero or a Creep. You get the Guardian Greaves off. Even when you go to low health, it's very hard for them to, to kill you that, you know, that last quarter of health when you get... With, I think some like 10 extra health regeneration or something like that. Hmm. So you get 15 extra health regeneration. Pretty wild. Woo. Woo -hoo -hoo. There we go. And hey, a lot of. I guess the only thing is, uh, you know, do so once you get the. I guess do so will be pretty high HP, I suppose, for her side. 
Uh, since both teams will have Greaves, right? Everybody's gonna be benefiting from it. Ah, uh, nice arrow, Dismar, buddy! Just trying to get some gold. We'll follow almost immediately. And the Rabbit! Oh, Oscar wants to complete this one. Now, Baby trying to back out of this one. They will get the silence, but it won't land on Slotum. So, a nice starfall in from Slotum as well. They need to get out of this one because it seems no. The Crystal Maiden ulti almost immediately getting stunned up. Benjaz with the Exo, with the Greaves, wants to keep on the assaults. But a nice slow and the... Uh, chains from Slonim, so we'll just keep everybody in their tracks and I'll know another arrow to start this one off. The Ogre Magi not able to follow up with this one thanks to the silence on the Death Prophet as they're trying to get away here. The Crystal Nova keeping them in place for a bit and the Crypt Swarm will get that last hit. But on the other side, Kara has to smoke to get away from the illusions of the Marana. Uh, and still, two gone here, both supports from Infamous and Ravens, keeping themselves a 2,000 net worth lead and running themselves right up to the tier one tower. Yeah, they, oh, well, they found Qatar, but there is no sleeping dart, so they can't actually, oh, wait, there it is. He just got it, what the hell? Hey. <laughs> he just got it. We're right in the nick of time, and well, the dude's uh, trying to sit back. Not the one you really want to defend this tower, so it seems like they want to fight, and they will change up, poor guy, as soon as the shark comes off. So quickly does he return back to the base, and even the arrow getting the stun on Kara, so two gone, trading the supports back, and Infamous slowly chipping down this net worth lead. I, I, I was like clicking at him, and I was like, oh, he doesn't have it, then it's like, oh, well, anyway. <laughs> Well, he does have it. It's all his net worth into it. His boots into the shard. So, but at least he's online, right? It is going to be the Ricky. Now he's going to be able to catch people. But that was not the situation you wanted to catch the Medusa in. The, probably the hardest target for you to bring down in this game. So, still tough. You, if they could get the, the sleeping dart on MJC here, that might be a different case, though. Uh, they may not even need it. So much damage, the Ogre Magi does fall. But Slotum's really willing to come back in, maybe get something started here, but... Oh, Morphling. Starting to show up for a few of these, but with only the Ogre gone, you don't really get a huge advantage, and everybody from Infamous is backing up. They're only into the river. There's a ward down, and it is here for Ravens. Gotta be careful. Shard will connect here. Oscar gonna hold the high ground. The sleeping... Or the smoke cloud isn't on top of him just yet. Got tossed back into it. But it looks like he's still handing, standing on the high ground, and Ravens do not want to walk up to a possibly ravaging Tidehunter on the high ground. The smoke is used, and uh, first they do have the Ravage, they do have the Stone Gaze, they basically have everything except the Moonlight Shadow, which was used just a little, little bit ago here. And they might walk into Dodge here. They don't have the Sleeping Dart on their side, though, so that's going to be hmm. harder to bring him down or Vision. And now, can they see him now? Are they uh, going to be able to catch the, the Morphling? They got the chains first. Arrow won't connect though, so Ben Jazz is going to keep sectioning them off. Don will be happy. No Manta yet, so those chains can be a bit rough. They are going to try to de-ward though. Uh, Crystal Maiden, you got the war, but it may cost your life. No ulti out! Karen's surviving! The Ravage was just a little bit late, it seems. They've already lost the Ember Spirit, and without him, I I'm not sure how you can take this fight anymore. They're trying to cut this one backwards. Ulti coming through from the Medusa. The Sleeping Dart hits, but Stone Gaze was already out, so they're really doing a good job of sectioning off the Tiger, unless Todd's back on the Medusa, trying to just t fight this one out, but the damage is well too much. The Morphling finds himself a kill. Medusa gone after just trying to participate in this fight to get the team away and a wonderful sit up there from the tiny making sure there was no escape for the Dusa. They have great ability to take objectives for Raven's side. You know, whether it's Exo, whether it's Morphling, you're just right clicking things. And uh, well, will we be able to see Slade here? Slade, no, maybe it's just make, walk it out a bit fine. This Mar, very elusive at this stage with the man, with the Blink Strike as well as Tricks of the Trade. And dude, we can see that, right? When you put the smoke on the Ember Spirit, Ember Spirit walks in, he's like, oh, I'm, I'm screwed. Especially with the freezing feel on top mm -hmm. of him. The sleeping dart, the moment it's been on, this bar has transformed, right? We saw him just fall off, you know, get killed a bunch of times during the early game. Yeah, he's zero and six, so he's, he's still having a tough a tough situ tough game to go through. But once he gets sleeping dart, he brings so much to the team. And uh yeah, Raven Sink is a massive a few massive uh wins up off of that. Yeah, and maybe a symptom of 
Uh, oh, wait, well, we'll go first here. Remember to click on the Bet Boom banner below the stream to find out more about the perks that they're offering right now. Uh, new accounts can get up to 100% bonus for your first deposit, and be sure to check that out. And thank Bet Boom for sponsoring this tour of the SADPC for us. But yeah, no, a, a little bit of a symptom that. maybe of not having that AA is that you have this like spear vessel that you're going for on the Marana. You don't have a four step just yet, so now whenever you get stuck like this, well, you're in a smoke cloud and you're not leaving. So Kara dropping down the ulti, they'll get the kill on Slotten, and now this tier one tower looking a little bit juicier now that you have that morphling Aegis. I don't think I've ever seen the uh, Ricky Crystal Maiden killer combo that we're seeing here. You know, it's the. Uh, you sleep into the smoke, into a, a bite, the uh, freezing field, and it's been working. Like, it did so much damage. Slalom's earlier, just now it's killed Slady. It's like, it is doing a lot of work for for, uh, for Ravens right now. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, so much on the itemization side is really helping them. Uh, and I, I will say, like, as this map is starting to close, hey! We, you know, game two, this, this, or game one, this is what I was wanting, right? I was saying, you guys got the laning stage, you guys got the mid game, and we got Aegis, we got Aegis at the 22 minute mark, I'm so happy. And they can get another one, look at that. You just can't handle the smoke cloud right now. Dismar finding another kill for his team, and Ember Spirit is just, oh man, so sad at this point. The BKB is nowhere close, it seems, and they have a lot to answer before. Honestly, Don already taken a tier two tower bot. We're gonna possibly see a tier two tower mid. How do you handle this? Oh, I mean, look at it. Everyone, someone's constantly being controlled. Oh my God, yeah. Smoke Cloud Avalanche, so many circles. You gotta be careful. The Jusa is able to turn now with the um, uh, with the Scotty, and now with even the ulti, the Ravage out from the Tyne Hunter, and you, oh my, no, stop shifting. What? Ah, just let them kill you. Don't do this to them. Come on, Infamous worked so hard for that kill, and all 30 HP. They had left continually on this Morphling. Oh my god, what a shift. And now you're gonna get turned back on. They've already lost Slotin. And with the Sleeping Dart, Dismar just keeping the bullying going behind the tower. Able to jump back to the rest of his team. No matter what you do, even the Stone Games pop for the Dusa. It is travesty after travesty for Infamous. Dude, this is... I mean, they keep trying, right? Like, it's like they, they, they're trying to to get something going, but Dismar is so damn elusive. Dad, they almost got him down. He was down to like, what, no no health, no health, but this doesn't matter, their damage on Infamous side, it's not burst damage. We've said this a bunch of times, it's not burst damage. It's damage over time, it's like right click damage. And uh, Morphling loves that situation. He loves it because you just can't mm. bring him down from, you know, six, 700 health to zero in one second. No, you have to only just keep on right clicking. Medusa is decently farmed, but She's not like she's not a hero that naturally matches up to the more playing well enough that you think oh you know it's a and she's behind him anyway, so it's just a very tough stream. Oh, that yeah. still has the ages, so it doesn't even matter. They try to go for him. Yeah, I think this is something I, you know, a lot of people probably who play the Dusa have noticed this. Uh, whenever you're forced to go for the Scotty first, it feels good, right? Like you're you're doing the heal mitigation. That's something that is still technically damage for your team, but you can't be the only damage source whenever you're doing that because you're thick. You you right click and you do the the regen degen, but you don't have a lot of damage to offer on your own. So you still have to wait until you have either this you know silver edge or maybe a Daedalus yeah. Crystal, whatever it is. You still need to have some damage company or else you're just and you do the regen degen. That's it. Still lacking something. Now they will get the kill on Dismar. And up the high ground, done. Maybe trying to find something here, but it looks like they don't have vision right now Ravage. on Raven. So not. Oh, yeah, and the Ravage. Not oh, not quite available, but. God. Oh, okay, way from almost into the arrow. Looks like won't find it. So, Kataro, free to farm for a few more minutes. Yeah, even even killing that was gonna be worth it anyway, just because you know I mean, he has the ages, so he was gonna come back in any mm. second. And uh, this game, by the way, Oscar not having the same performance we saw in the previous game, mm. where he was just unkillable, paying so much space. This time, Oscar yeah, is getting he's getting his items, but he's not he's not farming as well as he used to. No, oh, oh, maybe top side, Oscar. Uh, he's thick, but this Tide Hunter's still in a bit of danger. Don, with his own Scotty, will get the kill on the big old watermelon. Uh, and now that 
That is a little bit worrisome if you're infamous. That should not be how quick it takes to kill a Tidehunter. And even everybody else chasing here, Ravens, they're not done yet. Chasing through with Ben Jazz. I heard a sleeping dart elsewhere. And look at the smoke right on Deusa trying to get out of here. And it looks like just oh. barely able to kite away with the stone gauge, but that's not free. That is another 90 seconds now that you do not have that as an answer at all for Ravens. So they're just going to be able to back out, take the high ground, wait for you to come up again. Uh, I don't think we've seen a single offensive like Stone Gate. Every time we use it just to run away. And dear God, look, it's so annoying. And this is why Ricky is so damn annoying. Looks like they didn't get their hands on him, though. Mm hmm. Yeah, and well, uh, you've lost yourself, Ricky. You can't feel like everybody from Ravens is having like a fantastic game. And then you just look and see, like, oh, yeah. And Ricky died again eight times already. His team is clearly succeeding. Not uh, we've seen a lot of smoke clouds do a lot of work, so it's still a good game. Just surprised to see those eight deaths on the Ricky still. I mean, uh, we were saying like he got six of them basically before he got the, the sleeping dart. And ever since then, though, he's been absolutely <laughs> he's been doing a, he's absolutely been doing a fantastic good, job since then. All right, well, uh, smoke oh. up here. So infamous. Trying to make something happen. 9,000 gold deficit and no more ages. So we'll see into the jungle they go, but not a whole lot of vision around. They may be able to sneak into a Morphling, maybe, but still got a team around. Oh, and uh, well, they, they, they follow the courier. Can they go for it? This is going to be risky for both teams. Oh, they're trying. The rabbit is out. They've locked into the Morphling here, but uh, you don't get the kill. And now Oscar forced to run away immediately. Don trying to chase up to it, but uh, looks like Oscar may be able to get onto the high ground. Unsure because Bippy is also chasing Avalanche. Toss backwards. Yeah, Oscar won't last through this one. So two cores get lost in that one. And well, the Ricky does survive. Even a master falters. When we saw that, when we could see the Ember Spirit chasing the courier, it's like, all right, they're warned, you know? Dodd's not like going to be surprised by this anymore. You can see the Ember Spirit right there. He's not going to be by himself. The next to an outpost. It was a risky play for Infamous here. I thought that, uh, you know, Ravens wouldn't have the back of this, but they didn't really need to. Jungle was just fine by himself. Bibi showed up in time. All the cores are here. And Infamous, they... It's looking real rough, man. They got to do something. They got to pull uh, mm. three rabbits out of the hat at this point. Yeah, and the, the tower pressure is not non-existent, right? We, we said it before, there is a Death Prophet to help you out here. And now they may lose the Ogre Magi. MJZ, watch him disappear as he gets thrown back into Ravens. And they're just going to keep on losing these racks. So bot side completely gone. One of the best racks you can possibly get, especially with Roshan. Definitely going to respawn here in about 40 seconds. Infamous, if there's, they still have the t some team fight, right? They still have the Ravage, they still have the Stone Gaze. The problem is that a lot of your team does need net worth to function, right? Like Sladeen, he's got the vessel, but how useful is that when, oh god, we're gonna lose him again. Oh my goodness. I mean, maybe the BKB is spawned. He's getting something going before the BKB runs out, but even the Crystal Maiden can survive through this Ember Spirit. Trying to use one more slide to get himself away. We'll even dodge out the signs, but Dodd, here comes the Morphling, but oh no, doesn't want to commit to it. Maybe into the Moonlight Shadow, maybe into the Possible Ravage. Just a bit too much for you to try to go through. This is a good, good discipline for the Morphling. Don't throw the game. Don't make any wild moves. Play low variance. Hold the lead. Uh, and as I was saying, Infamous, the Ember Spin and the Tyler, these heroes feel very oppressive when they're ahead in terms of net worth. But when they're behind, you're just like, oh, they just don't really matter that much. I mean, Medusa's still a yeah. threat, but Ember Spoke doesn't really... It does feel like a poke, where sometimes it feels like, oh, he's actually killing us with a couple of slides only. Is Mar another sleep? Oh. This is going to be detrimental, maybe. They tried to go in for the Roshan contestion. They don't get anything, and then one of their series gets initiated on as soon as Roshan is taken. you got to be careful from Infamous. Everything can fall apart here. Benjaz is even going to get on top of the Dusa. They're able to use the Ravage, but Oscar, it seems like it's just mitigation. You can't really take anything off of this. There's even an Agonim Scepter out, because here it comes. It's Gush. The big old wave coming through from Dodd, and oh my goodness. A tide hunter has never looked so powerful in someone else's hands. Uh, unfortunately, again, it doesn't seem like Infamous was committed to fighting, right? We see the Ravage come out, but immediately, what does Medusa do? She wants to run away. She does not want to engage. This is looking like maybe a second set of racks for Ravens. They played this one very crisp and very clean from the start to finish. 
and uh, Infamous, no Ravage, no Stone Gaze, no Moonlight, and a dead Ogre Magi. Yeah, you, you, you really don't have a ton of... Uh... Maybe like a comeback dream, right? We're not seeing a Enigma or, or something else. We've seen the Ravage, but the Ravage just, again, hasn't felt super impactful because I have this Dusa that's like kind of enabling with, the, again, the, the health regen production. I have this Tidehunter who's enabling with the stunts. I feel like a lot of my damage needs to, honestly, maybe not needs to come, but is pivoted now on the Ember Spirit because Medusa doesn't have enough farm to, to do all the rest of the damage, right? Like, we need so many more items maybe from Medusa before she's actually a, a true damage hero, right? Like, going for the Agonist step for next, actually. So, uh, again, trying to enable the physical damage, but a lot of this is going to start to kind of stack in the hands of the Ember Spirit because elsewhere, I, I don't think you're getting physical damage out of this lineup. Another thing that we, want to talk, oh, that we haven't mentioned, by the way, is that you're up against smoke screen. That's seventy-five percent mischance. You're not Billy. Really, you don't have an empty. So you're all constantly walking out of the smoke clouds just to get hit. That's fine if you're a melee hero, if you're a range hero, you prefer to just sit and just pepper them with arrows. So. Mm. Oh, but they got by the solution in the next five here. seconds. Yeah, you can't just keep watching this go down. One rack's fallen, Sleeping Dart already out, even the smoke screen. Don will wait for a few seconds, but a Sleeping Dart and, oh no, force that through? I, MJZ is down, has buyback, will use it, because here comes Don onto the high ground, turns into the Marana, and gets another kill. So two supports, force the buyback so early in this fight. You just don't have much else you can respond with. Don gonna keep on taking out this Rax is, <laughs> honestly, the Axe of the Dusa doesn't feel that impactful. You've just lost Megas, and Pepe is willing to end it here. Slotos will fall down. They're going to jump forward with Dodd, and honestly, the Morphling, even with the Aegis, will play a little bit safe here. The Ravage Good does Ravage. hit. Maybe they can get some kills here, but Dodd already on stun. The Dusa trying to do any damage at all. We'll finally get one kill on Pepe. They'll also connect on the Raven, or on the uh, Invis here on the backside, but man, Morphling still has one life to work with and just hasn't gone down yet. Tidehunter does have a buyback, but no Ravage to use anymore, so I, your team has to try to mount a defense on the high ground with the Megas pouring into your base. Poor Deuce are going to get feared back in, and well, even with one stun here, rooted up, it doesn't matter. They're still just taking on the entire Fountain, the entire team from Infamous. I, I don't see how you're making it out of this one. Uh, it's like, well, is exorcism, exorcism is about a quarter of the way through maybe you can take a fight after that dot is also a bit low on health mm -hmm. so maybe they're maybe they can get killed pick up but it's very tough for them and there you go medusa oh the way no that's medusa turning in i mean oh no ember spirit gonna get locked up that is die back for the ember die back for the ogre magi and well jump through on oscar but nothing can happen you can see ravens they don't care it's gg called ravens have saved themselves from relegation it doesn't mean that they're all out of the clear yet but it does mean that infamous unfortunately is going to be our first team that is will go down to div 2 with, uh, I believe it is the 0 and 6 record. So, uh, unfortunate that we see them exit here already. Uh, but for Ravens, this is a team that we haven't been, been seen taking a ton of these matchups, right? Uh, we've been seeing mm. them kind of struggle with a few teams. We finally saw them get the, the win versus Alliance, a single match. And this is maybe yes. coming on the upside for them. So, as you're saying, hey, you're not out of it yet. You need to go 2 and 5, right? To make sure that you're not totally eliminated. So their next matchups, I, again, like playing versus Infamous now and now Infinity, the last one. Infinity, if they keep playing at this level, is a winnable matchup for them. Yep, exactly. They have to beat Infinity and they have to hope Alliance does not win against EG, which to be fair is a bit of a tall order. Like uh, Alliance is good, but EG has been on another level. But and they have to hope that Alliance doesn't beat Thunder Wake, which will be the like on the last day. I can I bet you if Ravens beat Infinity, they're just gonna be watching that match with it like there. You know, hearts on their sleeve, just waiting to see what's going to happen. But in this performance, in this game, Ravens, dude, Dodd had a fantastic, like, his morphing did a great job. We saw the PP was a bit quiet on the tiny, but in, in game as the 8, 3, and 14. Benji has did a great job pu pushing with the with the Death Prophet. And I love what we saw with, from Desmar and Kara with the, the smoke screen. You know, it was like a shard, sorry, the sleeping dart into a smoke screen into the freezing field. The, that's not a support duo that you think of a lot, but so much damage when it's done right. Absolutely. I mean, we even saw it 
uh, up on the top side of the map. He, he, they threw down the smoke cloud. Tyron was like, oh, I can go in and cancel that. Goes in, wants to pop the ravage, and it's just smoke cloud. You can't do anything. And all of a sudden, this freezing field is just raining damage the whole way. You lose the Ember Spirit. And now, I mean, that's kind of the fight, I'd say, that like really put Infamous on the back foot. It's like, ooh, we were supposed to be winning some of those. And now we're in a bit of danger. And you can see the snowball and snowball and snowball. Uh, I tell you what, that Ricky, it made it through to the second phase. Honestly, kind of surprising for how dominant that hero has been in other regions. Uh, but you can see why the hero has been so valued and so, so strong for Ravens in this game number three. I also like that Ravens was with different drafts in each game, right? Game one, they focused a lot on the Broodmother. In this game, it was a, a lot came on to the, uh, the Ricky as to do well. So it's like, they're not like putting all their eggs into one strategy. I mean, I'm think, I still think, yeah, if you can go to the Broodmother, you should take when you can. But they still looked good with the Ricky, and they may, managed to keep their hopes alive. So congratulations, Infamous. It feels bad anytime a team gets relegated. Like when you watch, it's like, yeah, it's exciting. Someone's going to make it, some, but someone has to lose for that to happen. So Infamous, they're going to go down to Division 2. But hopefully, you know, the third two will send them all the way back to Division 1 again. Absolutely. And it's rough. And again, as someone who has, uh, you know, loosely followed SA Dota over the years uh, before we got here, Infamous is not a name that you really expect to be going down uh, to that lower. Infamous has definitely been a real staple of the region. So uh, very, very sad in a lot of ways to see them going down. Uh, again, I also do hope to see them back. Uh, for next year but uh, again for ravens very happy to see them win uh, as a team that we've kind of had some questions with and honestly for their own mental happy to see them win without yes. the brood mother I, I will say in hindsight it feels good to know that oh come on you just ban brood versus them they don't have a game like no nah, they, they played with a completely different draft in this game number three and they really looked dominant for it so hey very happy to see that they're still in it here we'll see what they can do for the rest of the tier uh the rest of the tour here as they only have one more game left uh, but for us of us, we're going to go to a quick on break, and then we'll be back for our panel so they can break down this series and take you into our next series of the day.